Hi, it's Rick and Patty from the KORD Morning Show. Thanks for listening. We really appreciate it. And, of course, you can always catch us anywhere and everywhere with our KORD mobile app. It's free for you in the App Store as well in Google Play. I'm super excited because 720 is going to give you a chance at more Luke Combs tickets. And uh, you're Right get, on. You're getting ready for the gorge because I know you're going to be seeing Luke on Friday nights. I can't wait. It's going to be a great show. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. I know it is. <laughs> so, I know. So 720, a chance to win those Luke Combs tickets. Also $30,000. Can you believe that? It's amazing. What you could do with $30,000. So I'll we'll give you a chance to, uh, to win that coming up at 820. And before we get the day started, today is National Name Your Car Day. Oh, no. So I know that <laughs> Patty... I'm name mine loser today. Patty walked in and said that... My service engine soon light is exactly, on. Exactly. <laughs> absolutely. So... Why is it every time I'm ready to go somewhere, I know. right? I need my vehicle. And all of a sudden, that exclamation point, the yellow, you know, caution light comes on. What the heck? Well, I will tell you this. <laughs> as uh, my dad was a mechanic, I will yeah. tell you this. If it's blinking, then it, you have issues. Like, yeah. But if yeah. it's just on. It's just on. It's just on. You go get it checked out. Yeah, there's sure. a notification of right. some sort. Right. But but I will tell you this. Uh, being a, a kid of a mechanic, if it's blinking, uh, yeah. you're you're yeah. dead You're dead in the water. Mm-hmm. And that happened to me on the key rig. Remember, uh, during the summer, you came I and do. picked me up. Yes. Uh, for an event I was doing. And that thing was bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> and, it, and it did. And it just shut. It was it. Shut down. So today is National Name Your Car Day. We'll talk more about that okay. as we get the day started. Grab a cup of coffee, dig in, let's get going. You got Rick and Patty, K-O-R-D. Good morning. You're listening to Rick and Patty in the morning on number one for New Country, 1027 K-O-R-D. 1027 K-O-R-D. Our cash cow loves country music and loves giving you extra spending cash. $30,000 could be yours. Listen while you work for codes every hour from 820 to 520. And then enter them on our app for your shot to win cash. Yeah, okay. We're milking it for all it's worth. Download our app to play. And for full rules and details, number one for new country, 1027 KORD. It's 1027 KORD. You got Rick, you got Patty. Great to be with you. Happy Wednesday at 622 Right now, 55 degrees, part of cloudy. Definitely warmer than it was yesterday. Heck yeah. <laughs> you know. I know. I'll take it. I'm back to shorts today just because, like, okay, this is, this feels pretty darn good out here. Uh, should be near 70 today. Going to be a nice day for us. All right. Here you go. Facebook fun to get the day started. If money wasn't a factor, what chore would you pay to have someone else do for you? What's the question? One if, more time. If money wasn't a factor, yeah. what chore would you pay to have someone do for you? All the windows. <laughs> really? All of it, yeah. Okay. They're, 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 people actually clean their windows? I, I, <laughs> well, we need to. No, I'm joking. Man. I'm joking. Uh, we, got do- we got doggy. So we have a glass door, so we have doggy prints. So I'm constantly yeah. cleaning the, yeah. the doggy door because uh, it's a glass door. Uh, Andy says, take the dog out. Um, Sheena says, all of them. Teresa says, dusting. Yeah, who likes to dust? Oh, uh, Jennifer nope. says, clean my horse stalls. That's what oh, I used. That was my very I first see. job. Yep. Uh, Bobby says, toilets. Yeah, that's never fun. Uh, Diane says, house cleaning. All yep. of it, including laundry. Uh, Ricky says, pick up after my wife. That's a good oh, one. Really? <laughs> that's a good one. Wow. Tiffany says, clean my bathrooms. And Brenda says, the yard. For me, I think if I if I could get rid of one thing, it'd be the yard. That is, I, I mean, the, the older I get, the more I just want it, that yard to keep shrinking. I know. You know, I'm like, I'm well, done. Yeah, and you have a rather large yard. I do, and I'm tired of it, but I had two acres out in Prosser, oh, so wow. I had, had a gentleman's yeah. ranch out there. But no, it's like, the more, oh, the, oh, I'm like, okay, I'm just sick of, I'm almost, I, I just want to rock, just make it all rock. <laughs> <laughs> one of my neighbors. I get it, I one, get it. One of my neighbors uh, in the neighborhood does have a completely rock front yard like oh it's wow not it's all rock huh. it's like there's no grass it's all rock maybe a couple uh, but don't know. some weeds every now and then grow through um whatever they i mean done, i they, remember my dad did some rocks yeah. and i was like oh. but the weeds always come through they do they, they do did. you gotta keep yeah you gotta yep. keep up on that stuff so that'll be the facebook fun if money wasn't a factor what chore would you pay for someone to do for you um i'm, I'm gonna go with you on the the, the yard the laundry no any one, kind of upkeep uh the dishes right? No one wants to do the dishes. No. Dishes are never fun. Nope. Even when you got a dishwasher, it's still not fun. You still got to scrape. We have a dishwasher and we never use it. I still hand wash dishes. Well, wow! Almost every day. Is that from your childhood or something? Uh, well, I, I guess. Okay. 
Not me. I'm like, okay, I got, yeah, I, I got I, a dishwasher. I got pla- fill I got, that baby. I got platinum plus, and uh, and uh, and what doesn't get clean the first time gets rewashed. I'm I like, get you. I, 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 I hear still you. Grub, still grub on it. Keep mm-hmm. it going. Keep it going. I got you. <laughs> so there you go. That's the Facebook fun. Chime in. Share some of these comments on the way. You got Rick and Patty. We love to hear from you, and it's easier than ever to reach out. Just open up the Cord Mobile app and send us an app chat message. Or you can contact us the old-fashioned way at 509-547-KORD. Number one for new country, 1027-KORD. I'm excited. super excited, he's, man. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. 55 degrees for you right now, cloudy skies. And what is going on in Nashville? So Rascal Flats reuniting. The country music supergroup are going on tour in 2025 after a multi-year hiatus. Gary LaVox, Joe Don Rooney, and Jada Marcus broke the news on Tuesday. After several cryptic social media messages, they're going to kick off their 25th anniversary Life as a Highway Tour in February, the trio will make nearly two dozen stops beginning in Evansville, Indiana. Tickets go on sale this Friday. And nothing in the Northwest yet, so I, so I'm a little bummed out about that. But they said that... When that it happens... They, they The interesting thing is that it was all up to Joe Don Rooney to get back with the band. So they, yeah. weren't, they were not going to do a tour without him, so it looks like things got resolved, and now he's back there. And because of COVID... They were going to do a big tour, a, yeah, a farewell yeah, tour, yeah. and it didn't happen because of COVID. So now they get to celebrate the 25th anniversary. So we're si- we're excited. I remember Rascal oh, Flatts yeah. way back. I mean, like when they first, yeah. they begin. You know what? I saw them at the Beulah Sausage Festival. <laughs> I bet it's in, it's in Florida. It's always amazing when you see an artist like the very first time. I was like, who yeah, are who yeah, are the what? Yeah, yeah. Who, okay, and now they're bigger than life. I, I know, love it. Meanwhile, Chris Jansen is helping with hurricane relief efforts firsthand. He joined his family and friends on Monday to gather and deliver supplies to people in need. Some of the items were donated by Bass Pro Shops and others were purchased by Chris Jansen himself. He posted a clip on social media to bring awareness to the cause and is encouraging his fans to help out as well. Morgan Wallen tells CMT that he tries to ignore the negative press that he gets. He says, I try not to read that stuff. I know it's going to be there, but... I do skip over it. I have a solid core of people around me that try to keep me positive and on the straight and narrow. He goes, they keep me from putting my foot in my mouth, and that's a (laughs) full-time job. (laughs) And finally, Carrie Underwood's American Idol salary has been revealed. She is replacing longtime judge Katy Perry. However, she'll only make half the salary as her predecessor. Life and Style says that Carrie will earn about $12 million per season. That's all. (laughs) Right. Twelve million <laughs> yeah, dollars. Yeah. It's insane. An insider says that one of Carrie's strengths is her humility and that she, quote, did not need to be offered a Katie sized salary to come back into the franchise. ABC still hasn't announced the premiere date for the upcoming season. When it is, we'll keep you posted and be sure to pass that along to you. Those are your trending headlines. You're waking up with the Cord Morning Show, number one for New Country, 1027 KORD. 1027 KORD. Our cash cow wants you to pick up some milk money. All right. Listen while you work for codes every hour from 820 to 520. Enter them on our app and you could win cash up to $30,000. It's utterly ridiculous. But the money sure would come in handy. Download our app to play and for full rules and details. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. For one for New Country, it's 1027 KORD. You got Rick, you got Patty. Uh, right now, about 55 degrees for you. Happy Wednesday, middle of the week. Luke Combs tickets coming up at 720. Excited to give those away to you. 820, the cash cow dropping down $30,000. And, Sweet. And we did have a winner. We had a cash winner yesterday, and we'll give that cash winner a call later. Let them know. Let them know this morning. Mm. It's super exciting. <laughs> so we'll talk with that person coming up in a little bit. People do win. And, of course, get over to the KORD mobile app and download it. Coming up, other people's problems. Got a situation. Uh, caught the teen, teen smoking. What you going to do about that? Hey, Greg Brady. I know. Greg Brady's been smoking up in the attic, so we're going to talk to Greg (laughs) coming up here a little bit after 7 o'clock. And anywhere, everywhere on the Station Mobile app, lots of great free content that you can check out as you're getting up and getting going. And uh, I posted about it yesterday. When I first moved to the Tri-Cities, across the cable bridge, it says Vietnam Veterans Memorial, right? Yeah. And I always thought that that strange-looking building 
was the memorial, but it's not. It's not. It's a that that's a whole separate thing. Oh, and so you drive across the bridge. And yeah, you see, you're thinking. Oh, that building because uh-huh. it's right. I mean, they're both I, together. Yeah, yeah, they're both together. So you look over. What is that building, Rick? Well, that's the Lampson Cable. Uh, that's the uh, not the Cable Bridge. Uh, that's the Lampson Building, but it's shaped like a crane. So a crane boon or a boom or what mm-hmm. do they call it? So that's what it is. But you go across the bridge. You're like, what is that? Yeah, you know. Yep. And, you, and you think it's the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. It is not. It is not. So. Check that out. Also, a couple stories there. Uh, what's going on at Kennewick Middle School? This is um, crazy. A threat. Harassment? Yeah. Well, uh, felony. Yeah. Uh, Come on. You can't, don't be making threats. Yeah, exactly. Do not be, it's, it's a sad situation. Yeah. But, I mean, it's it's scary going to school these days. I know it is. You I know, know it is. Uh, kids on the bus, I know that we've got a lot of kids listening on the bus right now as you're going to school. Man, don't do this stuff. Go get a counselor. Go get a teacher. Go get a well, principal. Well, and thankfully, uh, the students did report the incident. Good, so, good. And yeah. there were several incidents yesterday, so. But I we encourage you, if you're being harassed, if you're being bullied, uh, go find an adult and get get help, you know. And so you can check out that article and more posted for you. And then this crazy <laughs> going through a chick Are you talking about the the one in Bothell Police? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the suspected DUI. I wanted, so, well, I wanted yeah. a chicken sandwich. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, they wanted a chicken. They, well, I need a chicken. I, I mean, chicken nobody sandwich. was nobody was injured. It could have been. It, yeah, but man, <laughs> they wanted. They wanted wanted Chick-fil-A, I guess. (laughs) Those articles are more posted right now for you on the station mobile app. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. Dominion, there you go. Hotel Key, number one for New Country, 1027 KORD. And of course, 720, a chance to win Luke Combs tickets on the way for you. Get ready to win that in just about 10 minutes. All right, smoke it in the boys' room or the girls' room. What's going on here? <laughs> Rick and Patty, my husband and I caught our 15-year-old daughter smoking. Oh, he and I are now discussing how to handle this situation. He says we should buy cigarettes for her because then we can control the amount of cigarettes she's smoking. He says if we don't, she's just going to go behind our backs and smoke anyway. Well, I hate the habit. I think we should be uh, grounding her and forbid her from smoking. We should also start taking away some privileges. This will teach her she's not allowed to smoke until she's 18 and an adult. He thinks we'll do more harm than good that way. What strategy do you think would work best? Oh, geez. Tracy I, and Pat. I wish I had some answers for this particular one. Um, what do you think, Patty? I, she's 15. She's 15. When uh, I know you um, smoke. How I about the... Smoke. What, not when I was 15. Okay, all right. I mean, <laughs> really? <laughs> um, I, so, I don't know. So I, for me, I grew up... Uh, not my foster parents, but I grew up, uh, my, everybody in my family smokes. Yeah. Everybody. It reeks. Okay. I'll just put it bluntly. It reeks. Well, and I so, mean- so for me, I, 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 I smoked one time behind the gravel pit with Melanie Botts. That's it. She stole her mom's cigarettes, took a puff and I went, Pleh. Never yeah, again. Yeah, I and do. I have never, never no, touched no. one ever again. Um, and then when you're a non-smoker, it just, it reeks. I know. You're, I know. You reek. Yeah. And so um, anyway. Um, this girl is 15. She's 15. I can't. But she is going to do it. We all I don't know. know. I don't think the answer, Dad, is to buy her smokes. So, I mean. So when I was in high school, uh, we called it the stoner wall, where the, oh. the people that smoked would be out there on the stoner wall yeah, in their a, trench coats. Yeah, we had an where kids could smoke. In their trench coats, smoking away like the breakfast club. So <laughs> the question is, she's 15. Uh, to me, I would, if it was my household, uh, you're not smoking in the house. I don't, you know, hey, you may, um, number one, I'm not <laughs> buying your cigarettes. Okay, I'll put that bluntly real quick. I don't. I know, I don't, dad wants to buy your no, smokes. No, I wouldn't do it. I and, I, and I will tell you this, uh, the sad side is my sister at my mom's memorial, and my mom was a heavy smoker. She passed away at 68, you know, and then my sister, we're at the, the service, and she's got three packs stacked. And she's just well, smoking. No, there's three it, packs stacked. There's nothing worse when you're smoke. I, and, and I get trust it. Trust me, I did I smoke get, for years. I don't. I don't uh, when I, you don't have, when you don't have, you know, your cigarette. Yeah, I get it. Uh, it and you'll it's pay. A, it, 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 well, mean, yeah, it's an, you know, and we're not here to judge any of that. No, not at all. I no. mean, you, you do you, boo. I always say you do you, boo. But for me, she's 15 years old. So if it was in my household, I'm not buying your cigarettes. I know you're probably going to smoke behind my back. But you're not bringing it into the house. I guess that's kind of where I would be. I would. I'm taking away privileges. How I don't get that. I mean, what do you get? She's still gonna do it, right? 
They're gonna. She's gonna go to school and bum a smoke, right? Isn't that how they? That's what they do. I mean, again, I've been a teenager. You know, come on. I mean, we've got Post Malone and um, oh, and and yeah. Blake Shelton yeah, talking yeah. about it. Right. You know, bummy a smoke. Right. Exactly. I, mean, I guess it's not cigars, <laughs> right? <laughs> Be more concerned if she's out there puffing out a big well, old cigar. Well, she could be smoking other things. I mean, I, I'm i not sure how I feel about this. Uh, phones but are already going nuts. I know. Should we, I'm not, should, we, but should we be crazy and just go for the phone and see if some... To? Yeah, let's see. Someone's got it. Uh, good morning, KORD. Got an opinion? Yeah, I think I'd have her sit down and watch uh, some videos, some really raunchy videos about what smoking does to your lungs. Or maybe even have her go somewhere and talk to somebody that's got a hole in their neck. Oh, or something. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. Scare her. Yeah, when you yep. see and those show her what, what long term smoking will do to you. There you go. There That's you go. Thank you. Thanks for the call this morning. Appreciate it. There, yeah, because I've seen those. Those those ones are crazy. That yeah. in the the yes. esophagus. And, yep. Oh, I think that terrified me more as a kid. Seeing that, like, mm-hmm. hey, I, I this I'm smoking and I don't. I, but no also, way, no way. Well, but also, I would. Uh, yes, I remember when you could. Um, they would bring the truck, you know, and you could go inside and oh. see somebody's lungs of a oh, smoker. All right. Well, I, you know, you and I grew up in a in a in an era when they actually had uh, uh, cigarette machines. You know what I'm saying? Oh you, gosh, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. So, you, it, so it, especially at the restaurants. Yeah, in the... You just go get them. All right. So uh, Tracy, we'll do our best to solve this for you. I'm I'm kind of befuddled with this one. This would be a tough one. But. You know, you bring up, I mean, I remember sitting in the back seat and my mom would be oh. smoking her Virginia Slims and we were back in the seat. <laughs> Again, you know, everybody in my family rolling smokes. Rolling down the window. Everyone smokes. Mom, sm- everyone. Up. If I go visit my brothers, my sisters, they're all token. Everybody smokes in my family. Not, I'm the only one who doesn't, but everybody does. Uh, my wife's mom, uh, my wife's mom, she smokes. Really? Smo- yeah, she's, Kathy's Still a smoker. Smoking? Kathy's a smoker. She smokes outside, but she's mm-hmm, a smoker. Mm-hmm. So, Tracy, we'll do our best to solve this. Now we're talking about a 15-year-old kid, not an adult. Adult, you do you. You do you. All right, 547-KORD. How do you solve this? Great call this morning. Appreciate it. Rick and Patty, K-O-R-D. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show, number one for new country, 1027 K-O-R-D. Dollars, Carrie Underwood, All American Girl. It's man. still only half of what Katy Perry I know, made. That's insane, man. Give but me it's that full <laughs> circle for Carrie Underwood, right? <laughs> I will trade pay paychecks any single day. I hear you. It's like, oh, she'd be like, oh, I can't live. I, this doesn't even pay my my you know cleaning bill. <laughs> 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 All right, seven twenty five. Luke Combs tickets up for grabs. Come to the Gorge this weekend. We're super excited. And uh, uh, with Parker McCollum. I know you love Parker McCollum. I do. He's, he's, Burn uh, he's your, it down. He's your fave. So caller number. Number what are we taking today here, Patty? Caller number five. All right, caller five. Five uh, five four seven K O R D five four seven five six seven three. Caller five right now going to Luke Combs. Good luck from one zero two seven K O R D. The Cord Morning Show with Rick and Patty back with more next on number one for New Country one zero two seven K O R D. 1027 KORD. Our cash cow wants you to pick up some milk money. All right. Listen while you work for codes every hour from 820 to 520. Enter them on our app and you could win cash up to $30,000. It's utterly ridiculous. But the money sure would come in handy. Download our app to play and for full rules and details. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. Shelton, pour me a drink, 739. Hey. Is, that, is that shades of 5 o'clock somewhere? Hey. Mm, maybe. Pour maybe. me a drink, Rick. Maybe. <laughs> I'm on it, buddy. I love it. Uh, F1 <laughs> Trillion. What an album. So good. So good. Yeah, it is. All right. Today is National Name Your Car Day. And uh, uh, your car right now has got the little engine light on. That's why. I, I just this. called Mike. Yeah. Just we- called Mike in the service department. So have you ever named your car, Patty? Is this a guy thing? Is it a girl thing? And I'm curious. Uh, I, I don't know. Mine does not have a name. All right. I know uh, um, I haven't named a car since I was a teenager, but Bertha or Bessie, if I'm having issues, let's say yeah. let's say my car. My mom not, named yeah. hers Betsy. All right. Be, yeah, it's always yeah. that. So if the car, if the truck's going to break down, come, come on, Betsy, come on. You know, it's like. Well, that oh. car always broke down. <laughs> That's why she named Man, it. Man, I can remember just trying to start it was an issue. I wonder. Wow. I wonder when your vehicle breaks down a lot, do you name your car? I'm curious. If it run, if it's running great all the time, it probably has no name. But if it's breaking down all the time, it might have, you know, the beast. Oh, the beast keeps breaking down or whatever. I'm curious. Uh, we're going to have some fun with you. 547-KORD. App chat us. Uh, name your car day. When I was a kid, my very first car, $200. 
1973 Mercury Capri. Wow. Bought it for my buddy Randy. For how much? 200 bucks. <laughs> and uh, That's a deal. And her name was Charity, and she broke down all the time. But did you it, name her Charity? I or was did. It, okay. No, I did name it that. Oh. But but uh, that's the only car I've ever named, ever. It was bright red, got me in trouble. Within, within the first 24 hours, I had gotten pulled over twice for speeding and tickets within 24 hours. Really? Yep. And one, at, one in Clarkston, wow. one in Lewiston. And uh, again, Rick, you rebel. You. I know. Back in the day, and <laughs> back in the day in Idaho, they did not ask for insurance because I did not have insurance because I was a crazy teen driving around. Shame on me, but what? I did. I broke the law. And in Idaho, and back in the day, they didn't ask for the insurance. You know, so it's like, oh, I got a speeding ticket. You know, and then the other one, the hilarity, the other ticket. Um, I got the ticket in front of the police department. So, wow. so I tried to go to court to get the judge to dismiss it. And he's like, I'd love to dismiss this ticket because it's your first offense. But you did it right in front of the police That's station. That's what the judge said. What he the? Goes, you know, he did. He goes, I goes, I would love to dismiss this ticket, but uh, the address has got me befuddled. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean, Your Honor? And he's like, this address is the police department. How does someone get a ticket in front of the police department? Because I'm Rick Michaels. <laughs> exactly. I'm a rebel, a rebel, Your rebel Honor. Rebel without a cl- cause, right. A rebel Holy without a cause. Buckets, Rick. So uh, there you go. Name your car day. We're going to have some fun with you. 547-KORD if you've ever named your car. We're going to take some calls now. You got Rick and Patty. KORD. You're listening to Rick and Patty in the morning on number one for New Country. 1027-KORD. KORD. You got Rick. You got Patty. Always good to be with you. Um, right now about 55 degrees. Today's high near 72. I'll take it. It's going to be nice today. Uh, All ready for you. I'm gorgeous. camping. I know you are. You're heading to the gorge. Uh, make sure you bundle up because it dips. In the day, it's going to be warm, and then at night, it will be chilly. So just give me a heads up on that. I know. It's going to be cold. I know. Bundle and I'm up. thinking, um, what do you do when you need heat in a tent? <laughs> there is lots, no... You know. Lots of blankets. Uh, Megan, well, I guess that's why you have a campfire. That's right. Megan and I went uh, to Dayton uh, yeah. a while back, and of course, we, yeah, we bundled up. We had a big air mattress, and then she had like three or four blankets. And a couple of sleeping bags. We were warm. Uh, good. We only have one sleeping bag. Uh, you might want to run out and get a couple. I can't imagine. Uh, you'll be, yeah. You'll what be. the heck? Who do we think we are camping? <laughs> uh, <laughs> today is National Name Your Car Day. Yes. had a great call about Emma. The car's name is Emma. And I believe she said it was a spark. She said it gets 50 miles I to the gallon. So it's definitely a great, yeah, great gas you saver. You asked her if she's got eyelashes Well, because Well, because the car's name's Emma. And I, thought, I know. Okay, so, okay, eyelashes. I heard Anna, and she goes, no, Emma. Emma. And then it's got oh a wind-up like a like a mouse car, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> with the little wind-up little thing. So we're, it doesn't, but we joked about that it that it had that. So uh, thank you. Thanks for the call on that. 547-KORD. Name your car. Um, I'm thinking Bertha, Betsy, you know, uh, what, what name do you got? My third car was Whitey the Second, but it was AKA Ducky. Okay. Because well. it had so much duct tape on it. <laughs> oh, no. That to yeah. hold it together, that it was also known as Ducky. I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> it, it was just wherever I hit them. Oh. Hit another vehicle or pole or what? anything that I just. Slap a piece of duct tape Oh, on my it. gosh. So the wow. car's name's Ducky, and, man, you are ha- – <laughs> when I see Ducky uh, hitting the road, trust me, I'll be I'll be watching for you. Like, so, so this is this is interesting, and this is not to be judgmental, mm-hmm. but this is, this is how I've changed as an adult. So as a as a teenager, yes, I was, shame on me. I ran around without insurance, like, right? You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, I get behind a, a car like Ducky, and, you and, just- I, and I'm like, nope, not going near it because I don't – because guess what my first <laughs> thought is? Yes, my first I thought know is, exactly. You're not you, – you know, when you I see – You don't have a, insurance. When I see a jalopy, <laughs> when I see a jalopy that's falling apart, I mean, it may have insurance. You automatically make oh, an oh, assumption. I, I do. I'm like, nope, not going near Do that. Really? I do. I'm like, nope, not going near that beater. It's <laughs> if, I, if I hit it, I'm paying for it. I get it. Five four I, and and fried green tomatoes to me is still the, the oh, best. Man. Where Kathy Bates oh, rams. Oh, she's in the parking lot. Yeah, the teen girls oh, are no. jerks, and she rams <laughs> rams the cart and says, "Yeah, get over it. I got I got more. In, I'm mm-hmm. old and I got more insurance." To me today, that is I is so relatable today. <laughs> so five four seven K R D. Name your car day. What's the name of your car? All right, we had an old Trans Am, and okay. it would shoot fireballs up the front because it had, it, like, up the front towards the window. Wow. Because it had all these issues. Yeah. So we called it Jerry for Jerry Lee Lewis, Great Balls of Fire. Oh, yeah. And oh, I, we were just, I mean, we were kids. This was over 20 years yeah. ago, and we would just drive. And some people would be afraid of it because it was so loud anyways. Yeah. But, you know, all the guys would be fine sitting in front of it and just... <laughs> 
<laughs> After you hear the motor pop, you just see these like little fireballs go up the front of the Howdy. window. But you know, it was fun and it was fast. Yeah, that's right. Great memories there. Yeah, when they're when a car wow. when a car. I mean, I always fun. I always laugh when a car is know. going down the road and they're backfiring. I'm like, wow, you're you know, what I'm saying you're like, wow, you're so cool. I'm like, really <laughs> get that fixed. I mean, so enjoying these calls. You guys are awesome. These are fun calls today. Name your car day. National name your car. Keep what, them coming. Yeah, keep them coming. Five four seven K O R D. You got Rick and Patty. We love to hear from you, and it's easier than ever to reach out. Just open up the Cord Mobile app and send us an app chat message, or you can contact us the old-fashioned way at 509-547-KORD. Number one for new country, 1027-KORD. 1027-KORD. Our cash cow wants you to pick up some milk money. All right. Listen while you work for codes every hour from 820 to 520. Enter them on our app and you could win cash up to $30,000. It's utterly ridiculous. But the money sure would come in handy. Download our app to play and for full rules and details. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. Yeah, happy and Wednesday, and we got special guests in the studio. Say good morning to Holly. Good morning, Holly. Hi, Holly. How you doing? What's up, everybody? What's uh, going on? Well, we're super excited because the Tri City Cancer Center, uh, you're doing a big fundraiser, and it is October, which means we're going to pinkify. The Tri Cities. Yep. And you're doing something great with Orange Theory Fitness, Holly. What are you doing? I am hosting a fundraiser class. It's called Orange Theory Turns Pink. And it is going to be October 5th on Saturday at 1230 is when the class starts. But if you have never been there, you probably want to be there about noon. Okay. Um, get some paperwork filled out. Um, I used to work there. And I am back to teaching class that day. So oh, it'll be nice. kind of a special guest coach appearance. Um Big one hour fun workout and then a fun Britney versus Justin playlist. Okay. So that should be pretty fun. <laughs> right. Right. And then everybody's wearing pink and then we'll have a little happy hour afterwards and kind of visit about the Tri City Cancer Center. It's all about raising money for our local warriors. And I know this is near and dear to your heart. Tell us the story of how you uh, picked a cancer as your you know your cause yes so 14 years ago i heard those words that you have cancer with two little kids that were two and five and it has been a road and a journey but the tri-city cancer center definitely saved my life literally and um i just always try to use any opportunity that i can to give back to them especially during this time of year but any time of year really yeah I love it. Well, Holly, you also compete in a special competition. What is this, oh, what is this special competition you compete in? Uh, I will. I'm currently the Mrs. Tri Cities America. America. <laughs> Yay. Um, awesome. And I will be competing for Mrs. Washington in March. So um, this is all part of my platform talking yeah, about cancer okay. survivorship and breast cancer. Well, we love and we love our friends over there at the Tri City Cancer Center yeah. and uh, Lori Lott and the gang over there. We know them well, oh, and yes. this is going to be awesome. And of course, my buds, my friends at Orange Theory. Yes. You know, shout out to those guys. And is this at the Richland location? Yep. Yes, Richland location. Okay. Twelve thirty. Be there early to sign your waivers um, and get ready for class and all that. And then I'll kind of give you a rundown of what's going on in there um, as well. Uh, there is a donation link, so you can scan a QR code when you get there. It's best if you call Orange Theory and put your name on the list, or you can message me on uh, Instagram, the Holly Boyce, and you can, I can get you on the list if that's easier. Um, but yeah, it will be a lot of fun. I can only have 45 maximum people, so get oh, on there. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. get, get on okay. over there. You're looking for a great workout. It's going to be a lot of fun, and of course, a great cause. Yes, of course. That's what we love. Orange Story turns pink, and again, the Holly Boyce. The Holly Boyce. The Holly Boyce on, <laughs> on Instagram. Instagram. Go check it out. It's going to be a fun class. Um, I think Patty's going to get on her leg warmers and go out there. Right on. Her. Yes. I, I I'll be there. She's going to be there. Holly, thanks for coming in. Thank and you. Uh, good luck this Saturday. And again, uh, Orange Theory turning pink. Uh, Tri-City Cancer Center fundraiser. It's a lot of fun. Holly, thanks for coming in. It's 1027 KORD. KORD. You got Rick. You got Patty. 825. Other people's problems. I'm befuddled by this one. I mean, I know what I would do in my home, but right. what, what other people would do, I'm very curious about. And what is going on in this situation? Well, Tracy and her husband caught their 15-year-old daughter smoking, and they're now discussing how to handle the situation. The husband says we should buy cigarettes for her because we can control the amount of cigarettes that she's smoking. <laughs> he says if we don't, she's just going to go behind our backs and smoke yeah. anyway. Uh, Tracy hates the habit and says we should ground her and forbid her from smoking. 
What strategy do you think would work best? She wants to know. You know, every smoker I've ever encountered wishes they could give up the the habit. It is a you know don't and their their fir, their first piece of advice is don't start. You know. So Tracy, a lot of comments. What are people saying on Facebook? Mary says Punisher. The mentality of she'll do it will push her too hard and just let her do it is just silly. You don't want her smoking. She got caught. Time to deal with the consequences of that choice. Do not buy them for her. Uh, would you buy your alcohol too? She's a minor. Punisher. That's right. Michelle says it's illegal to buy minor cigarettes, and it's perhaps the dumbest thing I've heard in a long time. You're not her friend. You're her parents. And Alondra says don't make a huge deal with it first, but for most, at least not get any bigger than it needs to be. Yes, take away some privileges and figure out how how she got started and how long she may have been doing it. Set a clear boundary and let her know that she's not allowed to smoke until the age of 21 and out of the house. Misty says the smoking age is 21. Kids are going to find a way to smoke. Um, I'll have friends who will buy them. They'll start to steal them. You could get them counseling to see if that would help. It's an expensive oh, habit. Oh, it is. Uh, De- Devlin says, I would try to find some common ground. My parents didn't grab me when they found out or even punish me. The father is right in a sense about controlling the amount, but they also probably got someone else buying them, and no matter what, they're going to do it anyway. And that's from Del- De- uh, Delavan. Sheena says you're not going to stop her regardless. And uh, did you do Amanda? No. When I was in high school, my friend got caught smoking, got a $900 Woo! ticket. She'd also thrown it out the car window. Maybe have her research the fines uh-huh. for smoking underage. She's not going to want to pay that ticket. And don't use your money to pay for it. Friends and family can pay her minimum wage per hour to do work for them. She'll have to explain why she needs the money. Uh, Christy says, I think it's time to really connect with your kid, find out why they're doing self-destructive behavior. Talk about the consequences of long-term smoking and the consequences of an addiction. You really can't punish bad behavior out of a a stubborn teen. And that's from Christy. You're right about that. Uh, Another Amanda says, no, don't buy your kids cigarettes. Take her phone and ground her for a few weeks. Then if you catch her again, do it again. Uh, Being your child's friend does not work. Yeah, boy, this is interesting. Um, do, do they even, back in the day, man, kids sat on the wall and smoked. Is there is there such thing as truant officers and officers roaming around giving tickets for cigarettes? Um, Are they, Do they exist these days? I, I don't, don't even know. Like, have you seen the price for a pack oh, of yeah. smokes these days? Ridiculous. I. Yeah. I couldn't afford to smoke if even, I wanted to. What, even, I mean, the, even the cheaper Reapers are like, what, 10 bucks, uh, 12 bucks? I mean, that's the cheap stuff. I mean, yeah. I don't even. I, yeah. I, I couldn't afford to. I. You know what? I will say thank you, Melanie Botts, behind the gravel pit. Yeah. She, she stole her mom's cigarettes. I did one puff and went, pit, 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 and that was the end of it. Thank you, Melanie. Um, I but remember. She, but she's a lifelong smoker. Melanie is. Really? No, because her mom was. She's still smoking, right, huh? Yeah, because she is. Because her mom was a smoker. Well. Nonstop I, well, smoker. I don't know. My mom was a smoker, and I don't smoke anymore. All right. Just... I did, though, for years. I remember. I could have started early. I remember, you know, please give Patty Joe two packs. <laughs> oh, I know, slims. yeah. I used to oh, be yeah. on my bike. Uh, when I when I was adopted out, the Wallaces made us take the food stamps and get changed for the smokes. So you go up, and you have to peel oh, off a $5 gosh. food stamp. And then you and then you buy a little uh, piece of candy, and then the four fifty that was left. Oh, uh, then you bought oh, smokes well, with them. Well, I didn't buy smokes, but you gave the money to the Wallaces, and then they would go buy their smokes. That's how they did it. They took the food stamps, you know, and yeah. broke it into change, yep. and then that way you. that way they got their cigarettes. So again, yeah, na- nasty, gnarly. Okay, all right, we did our best, Tracy. A lot of people are like, hey, 21, 21, Punisher. Have the conversation, ground her, talk um, to her. And, and yeah. remember, it is your house. That's right. Uh, your rules, your house. And you could smell it. Trust me. What? Even when they're like... <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> Even with the windows open and they're trying to hide it. What are you it. trying to kid? Yeah, exactly. What's going on in here? Oh, I know. I know I know. when the stepson, he was smoking pot and I could smell it. And I went to his mom and I said, uh, we got a pot smoker in the house. And she's like... And she, he goes, she goes down to the garage... Bangs on the door. He's like, I'm not smoking in here. And she's like, it reeks. I can. <laughs> of she goes, course you would. She goes, it reeks. I can. T- yeah, you can s- really? smell through the house anyway. So he's not allowed to smoke in the house or, or around. The- actually, he's not around to smoke on the property, actually. Tracy did our best to solve it for you. 547 KORD app chat us. We want to know what you do in the situation, other people's problems. You got Rick and Patty. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD.